This is Mary Soul's work in Spain. But I want to show you one more little concept to give you the idea here. So Mary Soul is spectrum analyzing a voice here and notices that the energy dispersion is not fractal. Most of the energy of this voice is stuck in one frequency. So if one person is talking to you in one frequency all the time, you get a little bit bored because they don't change frequency when they're talking, right? So there's very little feeling in that voice, right? So you want a voice to be harmonically inclusive and not harmonically exclusive. But I want to tell you how we heal this person's voice. This is before and this is after. Mary Soul calculated the missing frequency of this voice here. She calculated that wavelength musically multiplied by powers of two, got a wavelength of color in light, went out to the yard in the hot Mediterranean South Spain sun, tilted the angle of the, of the prism, and so the guy is sitting inside the room, and there's a rainbow going up across his face with a blindfold on, and when the rainbow has the exact right color by calculation in his eyeballs, she takes the blindfold off, counts two minutes, and then says, now let's spectrum analyze your voice again. And we got this. And this was replicable. You could do it multiple times. You could replace a missing voice harmonic with the light and back and forth. Now the reason I'm telling you this story is something I would like you to really take home with you tonight. Mary Soul explained to me that this only works if you start with real sunlight. And I would like you to understand why. This is the clue to the key why when you go into your children's classroom and you install warm pink fluorescent lights, you can measure the intention span go way down. It's very measurable. Now if you yank out those god-awful fluorescent lights and install sunlight, you can measure the attention span go way up. I would like you to understand the physics. The physics is that any wave that embeds in the sun has the possibility of fusion. You get it? So if you're out of phase with the sun, you're toast. It's called pair sun all eye tie, right? Have some personality, right? So the point is, the point is that this is why Tutankhamun and the same guy Quetzalcoatl, who later became Jesus, all taught a solar calendar. The sun's in there burping magnetic fields in the symmetry necessary to ignite DNA. It's called the Mayan calendar, but it's just a map of the I Ching, which is the codons of DNA. So the, so the Mayan calendar, by mapping the solar flares, was mapping how the sun was igniting DNA. So the sun, because of the spectral emission lines of hydrogen, being the physics of fusion, which Balmer series is a log function of golden ratio. So the sun's wavelengths are embeddability in essence. So if you want to teach fusion, literally how to embed, you teach a solar calendar because that is the physics of how you embed in the sun.